Oh shit! Did you hear that? My rear tire just blew out. Hello everybody and welcome back. This is Dave with Nomadic E-Biking Adventures. And today is Friday. It is Friday the 21st of June. And uh, we are going to take a little chance and uh, head into a trip that we did a couple days ago again thought it was a pretty good uh, trail to go on and we're kind of in between uh, storms it had rain this morning and we missed most of the rain that came in most of it went to the north around the Twin Cities and they just got hammered there are three to five inches of rain and we barely got enough to wet the ground here but according to the radar it's uh, going to be a little bit uh, of a lag time between the next set of storms coming through it's just after 11 o'clock and according to the radar if you want to put any faith in that the next uh, storm should be here between 1 30 and 2 o'clock so we're going to take advantage of it we're going to uh, go ahead and uh, hit the road we're gonna head on to the halfway halfway Creek Trail which we uh, kind of uh, fell into last time I enjoyed that one and hopefully it's not gonna be too messy if it is uh, we'll just uh, make amends and go a different direction but this uh, we're going to be going in the whole room a Holman and then we're going to be taking uh, the, I think it's about a nine mile nine mile trip on this uh, trail once we get down at the trailhead uh, to get down there we're going to take in some uh, you know I guess it is part of it part of it is called the halfway creek trail but like I say it's uh, we got a couple stormy days coming up here today and tomorrow they're calling for uh, 80 to 95 percent chance of rain so we'll uh, we'll see how it works out I believe the south east winds today so a little bit of a southerly direction I thought we uh, take advantage of the uh, low in the action and get out and at least uh, see if we can get an hour, an hour and a half of uh, riding time in here. And if for some reason it starts raining, we've got a couple uh, locations we can bail out and head back to the house. route the last time we took it uh, we ended up putting I think almost 21 miles on but 
there was one section of the trail at the end on the north end of it that we uh, <coughs> followed out all the way to the end of it to the parking lot where the golf course is we took that so that added uh, probably another seven to ten 10 miles onto our route so we, no, probably about seven I think so it's a nice cool day the uh, pavement is drying up a little bit it's a Friday So I think at this stoplight coming up, we're going to turn an immediate right instead of going straight across, uh, just to take a different route into uh, the trailhead on the south side. through this section of uh, Holman, Holman Square. I just wonder if there was a little grocery store around here.
got a little bit of a hill to go up first. This won't be bad. Killed the steepest hill to go up. So that's the trailhead start, and this one uh, goes all the way to the north, uh, nine miles. And uh, one thing you gotta watch out for is washouts. Mile marker one and a half. And then you gotta watch out for oncoming traffic around the curves. Let's see if we find anybody on the trail today. saw the deer last time. Still a little wet in here. Marker number two.
mile marker of two and a half. This is where we're going to be turning left onto the main street again.
are sitting at 11 miles. Possibly another seven left on the battery, which should put us up at the parking lot. At the end of the trailhead here for the uh, Halfway Creek Trail. Forty-four minutes on the bike seat. We should be pretty good to get it up there. seen anybody on the bike path here today I think a lot of them might have been uh, staying inside today leaves us five miles four and a half so another four and a half miles to get up to the parking lot it'll be close but if the uh, GoPro goes dead first we'll probably pull over and change them all out but we'll see how the GoPros do today
There's the road to the left that we'll be uh, turning on when we come back down the trail. Looks like you got a walker up ahead. She's killing me. Seat is just killing.
can find a good resting spot for the boys. Marker number seven, two more miles to go. Can we make it? Can the GoPros make it? Looks like they just came through here and did some, uh, some brush hogging. little bench mile to go.
shit. Did you hear that? My rear tire just blew out. That's not good. Come on. Well, that's what you call a uh, a blowout at twenty two seventy two. That thing blew out all together, so I don't know what the hell, but we've got a uh, a new tire and a new tube if we need it, so let's get to work. All right, guys, I want to show you what happened here. We had a total blowout of the uh, interior tube right by the stem there. And that in turn blew out my tire, blew right out the side. So both these are wrecked, which is kind of a good thing because this tire needed to be replaced fairly soon anyway. It just got replaced uh, today. But anyways, uh, that's a good reason for you to always carry a spare tube because a patch would probably not work on this. That was a catastrophic uh, failure of that inner tube. So a patch would not have fixed that. And uh, also this tube needed to be replaced because of this incident. So just uh, remember that next time you go out. All right, let's get back on the road. All right. Well, we had another little setback. We couldn't uh, get the controller to turn on, and one of the connectors came loose to the controller. So, let's go. Let's continue on to the trailhead at the parking lot. This was at 2272.1 that the tire failed. For uh, future reference, I'm put it in the uh, But yeah, always uh, learn a lesson. Carry a spare inner tube because that tire inner tube was blown out. and also carry a uh, spare tire they fold up pretty compact and they'll fit right inside your little ditty bag or your backpack that saved me I don't know how many hours of frustration trying to get back to the car loading the bike up so we'll get on Amazon as soon as we get back and we'll get a, a tube and a tire ordered for a spare. So that, uh, I'm getting pretty good at changing the rear tires out, that's for sure. I'll have to see how long this uh, tire lasted. I didn't break any spokes this time, that's good. I was really surprised, I thought a couple spokes might have gone. 
because that was a uh, a pretty hard blowout and like I said that's a good thing that you weren't going down a hill or you know going real fast because uh, boy you would have lost control very quickly actually it wasn't really that I mean it's not, not radical but it sure would have been uh, hair raising to say the least I just checked the radar and we're good there's nothing imminent so we've got probably another half hour to 45 minutes of driving right driving riding and uh, here we are at the, uh, the golf course don't look like anybody's out there today or on this hole but this is the eight and a half mile marker so that must have happened right around the eight mile mark So we'll go up here to the uh, to the parking lot up here, and then we'll just turn right around. Yeah, that was uh, a very interesting, and who knows what what caused the uh, blowout. I mean, I'm, I ran this tire at 38 pounds and it's, it's got a PSI rating of uh, 40 on it. So here we are at the uh, Drugans Castle Mound, banquets, dining, and golf. So we're gonna turn back around and start heading back. Well, now that's going to definitely cut into my uh, future. Well, you can tell the gravel's all ripped up with that brand new tire on the back. You can tell where, I've been, where I came from. Well, hopefully we got 600 miles out of it. Something tells me we didn't. But uh, I was just running on uh, this type of uh, trail, little fine gravel. Didn't see anything uh, that, uh, that may have caused that blowout. It's one o'clock now. So like I say, that probably took about an hour, uh, half hour to an hour maybe. And we were just lucky that uh, the rain held off.
another fun ride today. Had to replace the uh, tire inner tube. I'm just riding it now on the hard surface, and it's you can feel the the knobby tires when you turn, where they kind of uh, ride on the top of the knobs, and there's a little bit of give. So I'll, uh, I'll give it a once over again when I get home here. I appreciate you coming along for the ride. Remember, carry a spare. We'll see you next time. Adios.